The surface area of a regular pyramid is the sum of the area of the base and half of the product of the perimeter of the base and the slant height. So, in our mathematical expression formula of writing this, we have SA equals AB, which is area of the base, plus one half perimeter of the base times the slant height. Time out. What does that L stand for? Well, once we make our list, I'll explain it. Okay. So AB stands for the area of the base, just like in what formula? Um, surface area for a prism. Nice. Question. Yes. Is A sub B always going to be different? Can it, what if it's a rectangle? Is that going to be different? Yes. What if it's a pentagon? Is that going to be different? Yes. What if it's a square? Is that going to be different? It sounds like you're asking the question you already know the answer to, Mr. Custodio. Thank you. You're such a great teacher. Okay. PB sub B is then the perimeter of the base. How do you find the perimeter? You add up all the sides of the base. So is it like walking around and then counting my steps and then however many steps it takes me to go all the way around? That would be example of perimeter? Yes, if you're measuring perimeter in steps. Oh, you're so smart. Now back to that slant height question. L stands for the slant height. Question, why don't they use S for slant height? Because S's look like fives. Oh, so we'll use L, a cursive L. Cursive. So, as you'll see in the picture to the left, the slant height is the height of one of the lateral faces. Oh, so the face that's not the base? The face that's not the base. Oh, okay. I'm learning so much. So, the slant height is on the la on one of the lateral faces. Well, it's on all of the lateral faces. How is this different from H? I don't know. What is that? What did I just draw? A red line with an H. Which means? I don't know. What does H stand for in our surface area of prisms formula. Hallelujah! No, Mr. Custodio. It stands for the height of the figure from oh. base to vertex. I must have not been paying attention. Well, good thing we're learning now. So, as you can see, the height is not the same thing as the slant height. That's very important that you understand the difference between the two. I will be sure to pause this video and take notes really good so that I'm ready to go in my class for tomorrow. Thanks good. for pointing that out. Really well. Good. <laughs> So, make sure that you are distinguishing the difference between height and slant height. They are not the same. Let's try an example. We are going to find the area, surface area, of this regular square pyramid. So, what's our first step always? Write the formula down. Good job, kids. Surface area is equal to the area of the base plus one half the perimeter of the base times the slant height. Which is a curse of L. So the next step and that we should always emphasize is making a list of every variable. So we have SA for surface area, AB for area of the base, PB for... Peanut butter! Oh, you're so funny, Mr. Custodio. Nah. And L for the slant height. So let's fill in what we're given. Turns out we're not really given much. Only the surface area is what we're solving for. So let's go down the list and work our way through. 
We need to solve for the area of the base. Now in the question, we're solving for the surface area of a regular square pyramid. And since you guys already know how to name solids, you know that in pyramids, the name of the base distinguishes what the base is and how we name the solid. So we need to find the area of a square. Well, the area of a square is side squared. Can we use base times height? Well, sure you can. Okay. So we plug in 90 squared and get to 8,100 for the area of the base. Moving on down the list, the perimeter of the base is one of the side lengths times however many side lengths there are, which is 360. And finally, we need the slant height. Well, if I look to my picture, it's labeled as slant height. Now, don't get too used to that, kids. This problem is a gimme. They give you that for you. Oh, thanks, problem. You're the best. Usually, it will never be labeled as slant height, so obviously for you. So, don't get used to it. Anyways, the slant height is not given to us, but what I do see is that with the slant height and half the base and the height of the triangle, we make a right triangle. Well, what can I do with that right triangle? Let's take a look-see, shall we? If I label everything on this right triangle according to the picture... The height H is on the left side with 97. See right there. Oh, there it is. Half the base on the bottom is 45. And the slant height is our what do we call that side? Lateral face. The hypotenuse. The hypotenuse. So, if we are solving for the hypotenuse, we use our old friend... Pythagorean theorem. theorem. So, L squared is equal to 97 squared plus 45 squared. Do some squaring of numbers. And then some addition. And then some square rooting. And we solve for the slant height, which is 106.93 centimeters. So, now that we have that number, I'm going to fill it in on my list. And my list is complete, so now I know that I am able to go back to the original formula and fill in all of my variables. So I have 8100 plus one half the perimeter of the base times the slant height. Okay, so I'm going to do the 1 half times 360 times 106.93 first, which then gives me 192,743.38 plus 8100 gives me 27,347.38 centimeters squared. Give that a yellow circle, and you have found the surface area of this pyramid. Square pyramid. Square pyramid.